this. Like, I like to walk around thinking that like he's like seeing all these explosions. <laughs> Hi everybody. I'm Bottles. I'm Mori. And Hyde is having PTSD <laughs> again. Oh, Jesus. It's like I'm having flashbacks to Bradley again. What are we doing? I remember we like just talked to her mom, but like before it, I don't. Maybe we just leave. Let's yeah, let's leave. <laughs> let's, maybe Kyle will be like, oh wait, no, I have to do something. I can't leave. Can't shake that candidate speech out of my head. Why is Ed so interested in it? Sorry maybe about I should that. <laughs> call him. Might as well take a look. Oh, we gotta watch TV. And waste more time while this. Yo, who's that jazz singer? Is that Louis Armstrong? Oh, here, let me see. Where are you going? There he is. I thought, uh, I, I thought he was behind the thingy. It's just some random black guy. Is he black? It looks like he might be. He's a person of color. Definitely. Yeah, let's give it, he, it's a color. A I don't know color. what color, but it's a color. We gotta go to TV. Oh, you have to go this side, okay. We gotta see what this fucking candidate is saying. There's a TV on the table. Doesn't look like much, but at least it works. <laughs> do, 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 do. Maybe it would help if you turn the power on. There you go. Pinky Rabbit! <laughs> There's an old cartoon on. Pinky Rabbit, huh? That takes me back. I used to love this guy. <laughs> Man, that reminds me of a certain... Belissa. <laughs> You could be Hugh Speck. <laughs> Hugh Speck. Oh, wait, no, this is me. Oh. Hugh Speck, the most prominent candidate in this election, will be giving his campaign speech momentarily. And 5 News is here with... And 5 News is here live with the coverage of that speech. Stay tuned. I think it was Robert Harris. Yeah. Answer the cheers from the crowd. Hugh Speck takes the podium. Speck is a retired LAPD officer, and he's even working. Is even now working to stamp out petty and organized crime in the city. Wait, so does that mean we were? Oh no, we were NYPD. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Today at four o'clock p.m., five will be airing an exclusive look at the man himself. Wait, is it a four or five? <laughs> Don't forget to tune in. Wait, at what time? This is this is Robert Harrison for Five News signing off. Is it five four? <laughs> four. You speck. An ex-cop and also Ed's old boss. Trying to become mayor now. Ambitious guy. Looks like he's got a special TV slot at 4 o'clock. Think I'll check it out. What time is it now? Not 4 o'clock. Time for me to get a watch. <laughs> what time is it? What the hell? It's 9 a.m. <laughs> Not even close to 4 o'clock. You say 9 a.m. I say... How many hours is it till 4? Uh... Duh. 7 hours? Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. My case is lying flat on the table. Oh, is this our save chest where we could keep things? Like a sock? Why do we have a sock? Boxers. A spare set of boxers. I left these behind last year when I was doing a sign job for Ed. It wasn't pretty. Never forgotten to bring them since. My spare tie. My one sock. My spare shirt. A spare pair of socks. Wait, let's try to get coins. Just, or anything that's in here. You can tell I've been using this wallet for years. A fountain pen. It says Alan on it. <laughs> Can't go wrong with... Excuse you. Trust the old hip flask. Pity there isn't a drop left inside. Why don't you fill it back out with booze? Nice. Oh, I loved it. I loved the ASMR of clothes sliding against stuff. I guess there's nothing under anything. No. Wait, wait why don't you look up? You could look Can up. Can I? Yeah. Oh. Go back in there. My case is like. <laughs> I'm going back in there. Press the up button. Or the. Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh. What? Wait. Hey! The secret the word! Secret word. Uh, here's a blast from the past. The secret word. Written by Martin Summer. Stolen by, more like. I heard that. <laughs> I heard that! This book. It's a fairly complex, but I have to say it's pretty moving. 
shame about his later works. <laughs> Is this just like the throwback corner? A flyer about Red Crown. Oh yeah, this is a new one. Never got around to reading it, though. Here's a, here's all the mail I had stuffed in my mailbox. Mag's lovely ten eviction notice, too. A bundle of receipts. Still need to do the books for the past six months. Kyle. Kyle, you've not been paying Kyle! Rent. Come on. You're no, you're, you're no better than uh, uh than Jazzy the Jeff. No, no, <laughs> Jazzy Jeff. Who, who's that stoner? Oh, no, no. Uh, Tony. Tony. Tony Wolf. Go. I've stuck some notes on the wall. Important work-related business. Mostly, it's just lists of what I have in stock and how much of it. I can't even read some of them anymore. The writing's all smudged. Hmm. All right, let's get out of here. Getting cabin fever just being in here. Oh what? my god, another cutscene. Someone's here. Oh, thank Someone god. buzzes my room. Who's there? <laughs> that animation. <clears throat> Alright. All right. <clears throat> oh gosh. <laughs> cool. You're still here. <laughs> Great. What do you want? You know what time it is, right? Trust me, man. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important. It's always important with you. Go on, spill it. I need your help. Like, really need your help. I'm not in the mood for any... Not in the trouble. mood for any... Not in the mood for any trouble. Last thing I need right now is to be roped into one of your problems. Oh, come on, man. We're friends, aren't we? You know, you're the only guy who can help me out with stuff like this. Pretty please, at least hear me out before slamming the door in my face. Alright, give me the gist. Okay, give me the gist. Thanks, bro. Knew you'd come to my rescue. Well, you see, my mom's in the hospital. I need a thousand dollars. I need two thousand dollars. I keep saying how there's a decent guy behind all that anger. <laughs> so what's got you all worked up like this? It's really bad. I mean, it's worse than really bad. My mom's dead. And I need money for the <laughs> funeral service. At least three thousand dollars. I need five big ones. What well, could be that bad? Come on, Tony, what did you do this time? Yeah, that's right. Take one look at me and send me downtown. I'm innocent. Can't tell you how much I've tried telling her. She thinks I've snatched her ring. Just keeps screaming it over and over. Ring? Who thinks you've stolen their ring? Marie, that's who! She's made up her mind and won't listen to reason. Marie? Who the fuck? You know, the chick living in room 206. She's the blonde one who moved in around half a year back. The stuck up one, right? So we're clear. Anyway, Marie's lost her ring somewhere and now she's accusing me. I'm drawing a total blank. Why does Marie think it was you? That took her ring. <laughs> Search me! I will. She's gotta have a reason, though. I mean, she's not imagining it, right? I got no idea what she's thinking. I told you, it doesn't make any sense to me. Did you try asking her why she thinks it was you? No. <laughs> I didn't think of that, you're a genius. It's like you were a detective at one point. <laughs> but she just came out of nowhere and barged into my room. Demanding that I return her precious ring. She wouldn't even let me speak. So you didn't do anything that could have led her to suspect it was you? I don't know, I mean, I can't remember. <laughs> I see. Did you take it? <laughs> Give it back. I don't remember. I don't, I don't know what she's on. Chick must be crazy or something. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Tony. But I need you to promise. But I need you to promise you really didn't take the ring. 
Why the hell would I even touch your stupid ring? I may be many things, but I'm not the kind of guy who steals people's stuff. I just beg for money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you're not. <laughs> now that I think about it, you're not the sort who'd grab a person's wallet. That's the no-no. <laughs> Damn right! Who's the no, no Glad you finally <laughs> realized, man. I'm not a thief. The fuck's a no, no Anyway. <laughs> hey, wait, did you hear about that one room? You know what I heard about that one room, right? <laughs> you weren't supposed to be in there. <laughs> 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 she told me that I was. I took her ring and she told me I wasn't supposed to be in there, man. <laughs> That's why I need you to go in there and convince her of the same. <laughs> She wasn't supposed to be in there, man. <laughs> She's bound to listen to you. I don't have a chance in hell on my own. Yeah, well, let's hope you're right. Ooh. That's a piece of ass if I... <laughs> We're gonna go interrogate this fucking dumb bitch next time. If you like the video, like it, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one, and hit that bell notification if you want to see when we upload. See, that's how a professional does it. Hell yeah. Question of the day. Have you ever had anything stolen from you, and did you ever get it back? How did you get it back, too? Ooh, yeah. Put that shit in the comments below. On bottles. I'm Mori. See ya.